So these two here, which, you know, I made sure to keep this tomato apart. This was one of the patio tomatoes, and I had some before. And they also got kind of weird and fungusy with the weather. But uh, it's produced, um, I think we've gotten four or five of them um, off of it before they got kind of weird looking. But they're still producing um, flowers, and they're still producing tomatoes. This is mammoth basil, and as, as you can see, there's nothing in there. Where did it all go? Um, I don't know, so we replanted it. The bees have been loving the catnip, and the catnip is basically um, down to seeds. And then you can see just past it where there's um, more gray zucchini. The sage bed is doing really good. Um, my shepherd's purse is starting to grow down there. If you remember, that's something I've really wanted to grow. And the nasturtiums, look at that. They are just a burst of color. Now the leaves haven't gotten too big because I think they're so crowded, which, you know, I wanted the flowers anyway and not, not too much to eat the leaves. All my cilantro, or um, some people call the seeds coriander, coriander, coriander. Um, I need to harvest those cilantro seeds. And while I'm looking, I'm also just kind of checking for, you know, wormy things, caterpillars, whatnot. Alright, this is a um, yellow zucchini plant. And this thing, we have gotten so many yellow zucchinis. There's a little bit of worm damage because we've taken the uh, greens. You see the where all the mustard greens used to be. We've taken a ton of those away, and that's where all the little caterpillars and, you know, all kinds of moth and butterfly larvae had been. And, you know, also I think soldier worms. And now that um, we've started clearing those back, getting ready for um, fall planting, those things have started creeping over and um, we're probably going to cut back some of these leaves but not before it rains because I don't know the, the rain is just going to make things a little um, sloppy uh, this better bush puts off tomatoes that are about that size that's a little bit smaller than a ping pong ball and that's um, the size that those hybrid tomatoes put off i mean they're a decent tomato but it's probably something we're not going to grow again i'm not going to buy those anymore because they just don't do well for us out here in this arkansas heat this is supposed to be purple bells which is just now starting to grow um more flowers we only harvested two of them off of there These are mustard greens that I planted from seeds from the pallets. You see the greenhouse. Uh, I do have uh, one thing of uh, peppers that I've been growing from seed in there. And I'm drying some, um, I think that's cilantro seed down there. Ed is out in the, the area between the wildflowers and the beans and tomatoes if you can see we've really been chopping down that the weeds and the ragweed is finally starting to give up yesterday there was a hummingbird over there by the zinnias so that's kind of cool that we're feeding more than just the bees now this okra has given us a few pieces it looks like there's um, some more okra growing over here Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're finally getting more okra. This is popcorn, I believe, growing in this yellow bucket here. The hamper beans are doing really good. So you guys want to see the trellises with the tomatoes. These are Arkansas Travelers, and they are really um, taking to the trellis they're about halfway up now the 
these zucchinis, even though they're um, a bush type, they actually, um, the trunk vines up about two or three feet. So it makes it really easy to get on the trellis. But I have to constantly, constantly put, um, get all the uh, leaves off the bottom, off the ground. Because when the leaves are on the ground, the snails want to get on them. The uh, stink bugs find ways to lay eggs on the bottom leaves. And it's just a lot neater. And then the pathway won't get blocked so much. We've harvested a bunch of these um, Chinese noodle beans, Thai noodle beans. I don't remember which they are. And these have grown about halfway up the arch. And now they're wanting to wrap around everything <laughs> instead of keeping going. And I have to start training them like this one. What are you doing? Look at that. He's trying to strangle my ladybug. <laughs> Let's see if I can help it. Ooh, there's a spider web up there. Okay, I will not be able to help it without breaking it. It is really on there. I have to put the camera down and use two hands. Mm. This is a green giant tomato, and we had one uh, two years ago. This one was planted from seed. And pretty soon he's going to produce a lot of beautiful green tomatoes and they taste really sweet. What's going on with the watermelon? Hey, we got another watermelon growing. Woohoo! So the trucker's favorite is starting to put off um, a few uh, ears here and there and they're actually some some pretty chunky fat ears but they're not ready yet I've, I've tested them a few times even though the tops are brown in some areas the corn's not ready yet you want to show us the gourds Ed? <laughs> 